just back from a cold, so uh, I'm quickly going to uh, start off with a, a brief video on blondism, blondism in brief. Uh, I'm going to present you a few images and I'll talk you through them. So uh, blondism is highest in northern Europe, uh, Scandinavia and the Baltics, uh, but it's high throughout northwestern Europe and, and the northern parts of eastern Europe. So, as you can see uh, in this first image here, uh, blonde hair is the dominant hair type in uh, southwest Finland and uh, northern Scandinavia. Um, dark blonde hair is dominant uh, in, in Iceland, the rest of Scandinavia and northernmost Europe, as well as the, the east coast of England and Scotland. And then, um, then you get to a, a medium brown uh, in the areas to the south and east of that, and then it, it gets darker and darker. There's also a, a slight incidence of blondism in uh, Aborigines and some other uh, Oceanians, but uh, it's Australasians, but it's it's a different uh, mutation altogether. Moving on to the next image, you can see uh, this is light hair. So I provided this, and then I've provided another map that shows red hair because he's counted both red and blonde here. Um, so you can have a little look at this image. It's very similar to the last one, and then we'll move on to this image, and you can have a quick, quick look there. Um, obviously, red hair is is more dominant in the west. It's uh, the the westernmost of Scandinavia, the westernmost of Germany and, and Holland, and then it's even higher in uh, in the Celtic countries in Scotland, uh, Wales and Ireland. And then back to the, the Blondism map, so you can see this, uh, this the, the figures for uh, Holland, Britain and uh, Ireland and the southwesternmost of, of uh, Norway there are a little uh, higher than they would be without the red hair. Okay, moving on to this, this is a map of uh, Germany as it was, and these are the percentages of uh, light hair there. And then moving on to this one, light hair, uh, blonde hair in Italy. So as you can see uh, in the north where Germanic uh, and Celtic blood uh, are strong, it's uh, up to and over 20%, whereas it's pretty much absent uh, elsewhere, very rare. Portugal, same story again. Portugal has uh, over 10% blondism in the very north, and it decreases to um, just over 5% in the southern states. Okay, so the origins of blondism, just want to go into it briefly. Uh, the MC, MCR1 mutation uh, that reduces pigment is responsible both for blonde and for red hair. Um, it's uh, different variants of the gene. Um, blondism, well, light hair in general, was spread by the Indo-Europeans. Uh, the main culture associated with the spread of blonde hair in particular is the corded wear culture, which is what you can see here. And this was the extent of the corded wear culture. You can, as you can see, that that uh, is the it dominates the Germanic areas and the, the Slavic areas that, that have that blondism. Uh, and it also reaches there into the Baltic and the Finnish territories. Uh, here you can see the association of the corded wear culture with the ceramic comb culture to the north. And I've talked about that in a, a couple of videos recently, but that's that's the reason, uh, well, that could be proposed as the reason that the Balts and the Finns uh, also, well, uh, Finns in particular, Finns and uh, um, Estonians also have high blondism, but the, the Balto Slavics, you know, have a common root anyway. Moving on to this one, this is the Germania at the beginning of the Folk of Randorum, and um, the Folk of Randorum was an, an expansion, a migration, a conquest of much of Europe by the Germanic tribes and a displacement of, of, of one another uh, as well and um, yeah it, it spread blondism uh, throughout the continent 
Another gene that's important in terms of blondism is uh, KITLG, K-I-T-L-G, uh, and I, as you can see in the videos, I mean, the, way the light's low, so it may look uh, more light brown in some, but uh, I have uh, dark blonde hair. But I actually, I actually have an absence of one of the main genes that uh, causes blondism uh, in the Dutch, despite having Dutch roots and blonde hair. Um, and that's, uh, as far as I remember, that's Kid LG. I will check and I'll, I'll do another video at some stage where I talk in more depth about the different genes uh, that interact to cause uh, blonde hair, red hair, um, and, you know, uh, intermediary things like strawberry blonde hair and auburn hair, which have red as well as other pigments. Uh, the main pigment in blonde hair is actually uh, platinum. The main pigment in red hair is molybdenum. Uh, brown hair has a mixture of different pigments.